CVIP is doing great. Uh, the measures of our success are one, we are on track to triple our revenues for CVIP over the same period for last year. Number two, these, this return on our research dollars for the university are almost double what our peer universities are getting across the country. Number three, our invention disclosures from our faculty are up by about 10% compared to last year. We're all very excited here at UMass Lowell about the nano manufacturing research we have going on. We were awarded an NSF Nanoscale Science and Engineering Center, one of four in the country, and this was recently renewed for another five years. We've used this nano manufacturing research to develop new products and processes. These processes have been uh, demonstrated to the Army, who were so excited about what we've done that they're using it for nano manufacturing of sensors for soldiers. These are for chemical and biological agent detection. They have recently given us $4 million to continue this research, which has been funded for the last four years. One of the things that we are working on is a hybrid mixture of sensors that's really optimized for explosive detection. We call this thing the Minimut. This battery-operated prototype of the Minimut identifies what type of hazardous gas is present in the atmosphere and tells how much is there. You know, it makes fiscal sense for the university to grow research expenditures. But to students, it's another opportunity to learn from the discoveries and scholarship of outstanding accomplished faculty. We seek to fulfill the promise, not just to provide high quality affordable education, that's a given. We must give our students meaningful opportunities to grow outside the classroom, to persist to graduation, and to contribute to society. At UMass Lowell, students learn with purpose. When they graduate, they are ready for work, they're ready for life, and they're ready for whatever the world offers them.